I mean, in 100 years, we went from a horse buggy and carriage all the way to putting remote control cars on Mars. So <sighs> we're moving at an extremely fast pace right now. And they just released this chat GPT and other uh, robotics on, on humanity, uh, which is great. It's going to do a lot of good for us. But at the same time, if you're going to replace somebody's job, you have to then take away their financial responsibilities. You can't expect them to still have the right. financial responsibilities and take away the job. Right. So that's going to be the conundrum. I'm waiting to see how that's going to pan out, how many of us are going to stand up and say, look, wait a minute now. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a mother. I'm a single mother of three, and I can't waitress anymore. So what's going to happen? Or even attorneys are at risk. Nurses are at risk now. So uh, well, here's the what are they going to do? There's enough money in this country, just in this country alone, to if you did replace jobs, you make it so that whatever controls that industry mm -hmm. has to give a certain percentage to ensure not just like a living wage, but a good wage, you like where, pe it. where people live well and they mm -hmm. don't have to think about it. Yeah. But then you got to give people a purpose because mm -hmm. you can't just have them laying around getting free money and yeah. not having a life because right. pe a lot of people, their purpose is their job. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they look forward to. They get yeah. engaged with something. They have a community there. They have tasks that they do. They mm -hmm. succeed. They go out yeah. to dinner and celebrate. That's a big part of life for people. 